In this video, I'm going to show you how to use NTFS compression to shrink your files while still being able to use them. NTFS compression has been included in all the versions of Windows that are based off the NT kernel. To use basic NTFS compression, you right click on the directory or file you want, click Properties, and then you go to Advanced. Click Compress Contents to Save Disk Space, then OK, then Apply, and make sure this is selected. And then it'll start compressing it. Standard NTFS compression compresses this folder down to 82.2% of its original size. It's not a huge amount, but it will survive any changes to the files that you make in future. Windows 10 has several additional compression schemes built into it. Ordinarily, you need to use a command line program to be able to use these schemes. But Eminent Fate has developed a GUI program for this called Compact GUI. So, once you're in the program, just click Select Target Folder. There are four different algorithms built into Windows 10. The first of these is Express 4K. It does a decent job and doesn't tax your computer's resources too much. This says it's gotten a size reduction of 23%. Over here it says it's 74.5%. There might be some kind of bug in either Compact GUI or Windows that is causing this discrepancy. The next algorithm is Express 8K, which is the same as Express 4K, but it uses an 8 kilobyte dictionary. This says it's 29% smaller. And the calculator says 71.8%. And then there's the last of the Express algorithms, Express 16K. This one's also a 29% reduction. The calculator here says that it's 70.3%, as you can see. None of the express algorithms use that much in the way of processing power, and so you can pretty much choose whichever one of them you want. Even though if you have a really old computer, you might want to stick to the 4K version. Finally, there's LZX. LZX is meant to have a similar compression ratio to ZIP, along with similar high processor usage. In fact, when you select LZX, Compact GUI will give you a warning about it.
Compact GUI reports a 38% size reduction. The calculator reports a 63.7% compression ratio. Which is actually better than zip. But it's really, really slow. LZX shouldn't be used on games, unless it's an older game with small files, or a game that loads all the files up that it needs into RAM when the game begins. It's simply too slow to be useful for programs that require real-time loading of files from disk. It's also useful for compressing sound fonts that you're using with Virtual MIDI Synth. And so until my next video, see you next time.